So I'm trying to also be more mindful that more is not always more. Right. Right. So sometimes I'm listening to my body. I'm learning to be my own CEO of my, right. yeah. my life, my training. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I'm the one who has to go into the octagon. So yeah. I don't really feel like there should be somebody telling me you have to do this when it doesn't feel like I have it to give. Um, so I'm trying yeah. to find that. Balance what do your too. coach? What do your coaches say with that? Um, it depends which one that you talk to, but I also encourage athletes to remember that you are the boss. Yeah. It's so easy to forget that, you know, mm -hmm. not only do we hire our coaches and pay our coaches, we do want their advice, but they don't rule us. Mm. We do have some say in this. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. And it's the similar concept for me with women in birth. Mm. I really want to be a strong advocate. Someday I'd love to be a doula as well. Oh, I mean, have all God. these things because I want to empower women to take back their power yeah. and make the choices for themselves. What I'm trying to say, though, is this, there's been a lot of that where it's like we're just being told right. and we just think we have to do. Yeah. But we also have intuition. Mm -hmm. We have things that our body tries to tell us. And when we continually manually override, I think it can be very detrimental. And yeah. I've, I've felt that myself. So, um, it depends which coach that you talk to. 